What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out another Eastern Current video. Today we're going to talk about the top water wake bait. Stay tuned. Alright, so the top water wake bait. There's a bunch of reasons that I've really uh, fallen in love with fishing this lure myself as well as for my clients. Um, and I'm going to share those with you all today. I have not fished many different styles of wake bait. Um, but the one that I've kind of gravitated to is the Sixth Sense uh, wake bait. Uh, it's their saltwater version. They make a bunch of freshwater bass baits, but this is uh, you know some beefed up hooks and split rings, and this is their uh, their saltwater colors as well. And my only complaint about this is the paint job has not held up very well. I've only been fishing these for about two weeks, and the paint's chipping off pretty bad, which isn't a big deal. I like painting plugs, and so you know I'll I'll, I'll get all the paint off of this and repaint these uh, when it's done and epoxy top coat them and they'll be uh, they'll be good to go for years but let's talk about why the wake bait is such a solid bait and such a great top water to add to your arsenal of uh, you know top water plugs and different lures you like throwing for speckled trout and redfish and salt water um, the one big thing about this lure uh, is it's so easy to retrieve so a simple cast and slow roll is what I call it so just a slow wind of that reel and this bait has all the action you'll need so for someone that can't work a normal top water plug it's really easy for them to go out there and fish, you know, next to someone that's working another one of these baits or working a walk the dog style plug uh, and be able to get just as many bites. So that's the main reason I was like, I'm going to try a wake bait because uh, a lot of my clients, you know, they can't fish that topwater plug. And this way they'll be able to at least, you know, have some, uh, some topwater action, if not as much as a walk the dog plug, at least they'll still be in on the game. And what I very quickly found is that the redfish and trout eat this just as well if not better than a normal walk the dog style plug i wanted to almost keep this a secret because there's really not many people fishing this here in wilmington but i just felt unfair not sharing it because it is really such an effective tool um, the one time i i really don't like throwing this in in little choppier windier conditions and y'all know i like fishing topwater plugs when it's windier when there's bump on the water i think fish eat them really well the only problem is these just disappear a little bit. Working like a, a square bill crankbait where it's going to be kind of just under the surface, you really don't get the action and uh, the presentation with this bait that you really need to draw those bites if, the, if there's too much chop on the water. But on the slick, calm mornings, uh, you know, where even a walk the dog plug sometimes is too much, these shine. They really, really walk. Um, they kind of wobble just under the surface with that slow retrieve. It's got a nice rattle in there, um, and they, they push awake just like a mullet on the surface. So you can fish them a little bit faster and fish them a little bit deeper. I like to walk them or reel them real slow and just let them wobble on the surface. And you can hear that that brass ball in there or that stainless steel ball or whatever it is just wobble, 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 wobble as you're retrieving it. And um, one thing I've noticed, the trout eat a little bit faster, so it's hard to tell. But you know, on a walk the dog style plug, a lot of times the redfish will eat it, you know, quartering towards it or from the side or you know they'll eat it from the back as well. But every redfish I've caught on this plug has eaten it from directly behind and gotten both treble hooks in its mouth. Um, I think when a fish eats a plug from directly behind, it's the best opportunity to, the best chance at hooking that fish. So um, this lure here uh, has been my favorite color. This is, I guess, their speckled trout pattern. Uh, but really, um, all their colors are really, really awesome. There, there's just a few colors to choose from, but uh, I think if with a topwater, as long as you're throwing a natural colored bait, um, you really can't mess up. I, I also like to throw brighter colors. I've got a pink one of these as well. Um, I like oranges and whatnot, but um, these are, are such a natural um, retrieve, such a natural display uh, on the water already. I think the natural colors kind of play into that pretty well. Um, so if you haven't fished a wake bait, you don't have any wake baits, definitely pick them up, give them a shot. They're easy to fish. Throw it out there, slow retrieve, rod tip up. Oop, let me pick that up. Rod tip up in the air. Um, I don't like to fish it low. I like to fish that rod tip up like this. When that fish eats it, I'll kind of reel down and then set the hook when I feel the pressure. Um, one thing to think about is anytime you're fishing a lure with treble hooks, you want to have a softer tip rod to give it some give when that fish pulls because they have a lot of leverage on a treble hook to pop that hook out of their mouth. Um, but you definitely want a little bit heavier rod with these. They're a little bit heavier of a bait, especially with that, that big rattle in there. So, you know, a medium uh, fast or, or, you know, like a heavier medium light would be a great option for this. I've been fishing them on a couple different rods and um, even on the even on the very light medium lights you can still work this bait great um, and, and I like that soft tip but sometimes I feel like when I'm actually working it having a little more backbone um, for that retrieve is nice and for the cast but go check them out sixth sense uh, they make a bunch of bass lures and these are their saltwater versions of their wake baits great baits definitely grab some throw them in your boat throw them in your bank bag throw them in your tackle box whatever you call it 
and uh, give them a shot and let me know if you've already been fishing them in the comments below if you've enjoyed them if you if you hate them uh, and if you haven't tried them and you go try them after this video and catch some fish on them send me some pictures and let me know in the comments that you've uh you've been successful with them so i will see y'all in the next video thanks for checking this one out smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you really liked it and i'll see you soon later